One of the most challenging things about living in a small space is storage. We often see these beautiful, perfectly styled spaces in books, magazines, and on the internet. But it makes us wonder: Do people not have everyday ugly things like cables, rags, and cleaning cloths and tools? And if so, where do they store them? Hi there, I'm Tina Tomato, and I live in a 430 square feet studio apartment. And today, I'll be showing you how I store these odd ends in my small space. Under the bed storage is a great way for storing things like offices and clothing, extra pillows and linens. In the first drawer, I am putting away my extra pillows. Ideally, I should not have this many extra pillows. In the second drawer, I am storing away all my beddings and towels. And in the third drawer, I have a few electronic boxes in case I want to sell anything, and the steamer that I use for my clothing. I know that nowadays open storage is getting all the hype because it makes the space look really airy. But that's if all your things look really nice. To me, closed storage is the way to go for someone who is very particular about their space looking neat and tidy. I recently added some drawers and cabinet doors to this IKEA Calyx shelf, and it's making a huge difference. My favorite part about this DIY is that now all my cables are hidden. Even my internet modem is hidden inside one of the wicker baskets. Your bedside table can also double up as storage. I use this Rascock utility cart from IKEA. And on the top shelf, I have some lotion, a little container for earplugs, a scalp massager, and a few decorative things. And in the bottom two levels, I actually have most of my book collection, my Kindle, and some more stationery. This cart is super sturdy, so it's perfect for holding something heavy like books. I learned this tip from Melody. Basically, you can use command hooks to hang a lot of things on the door. In my kitchen, I like to hang up my cutting board, rags, and the glove. That way, things can dry up very quickly and nothing gets moldy. I also store my cleaning products in an over-the-door organizer to keep the counter extra clean. I also use the same trick in my bathroom to store my hair dryer and rags. Alright guys, you might be wondering why I'm sitting up so high. Well, it's time to expose myself. Ta -da! The top shelf of my kitchen cabinet is where I keep all the miscellaneous, all the junk, all the things that I should have decluttered but just couldn't. And I will briefly take you guys through what I have in my upper cabinets. So first I have this daisy box and inside is just a bunch of jewelry that I was gifted and uh, you know, cable and Christmas cards and things like that. And next up, in the metal cabinet, I have uh, well, extra roll of toilet paper, so that reminds me I need to get more. Uh, I have some extra uh, tissue papers that I like to bring with me on a daily basis. And then here in a shoe box, I have uh, basically it's this giant plastic covering uh, that I use whenever I'm painting stuff. So I just keep that in the shoe box so it's clean and tucked away. Okay, so this is where all the crazy happens. I have a bunch of spare parts uh, from assembling furniture, uh, so that's all in here. I'm kind of scared of throwing them away in case that 
uh, like if anything happens, I I need to look for spare parts. But I don't I don't think I will be able to find it when everything is all in like a plastic bag here. But anyways, they're here, and I also have some um, boxes. This is for my mic, and uh, that's for the internet modem. And then this is my leather care kit. So I don't wear leather anymore. I just have a few more pairs of shoes that I use these uh, water resistant spray and water resistant cream to basically maintain it so that I don't have to buy new shoes anytime soon. So yeah, uh, some things are necessary, some things are not. The placement of these things means that I don't have to look at them uh, very often. For me, my hobby is YouTube. And because of that, I end up with a lot of gears like camera, external hard drives, tripods, and gimbals. I keep these things inside my closet and store them all together. That way, when I need to film something, I only need to go to one place to grab everything I need. And on the other days when I'm not filming, these gears are all tucked away and they don't interrupt my everyday life.